Hey guys, good evening. Welcome replay viewers. I know this is not the most exciting view, but I will flip it around in a few seconds. Just giving a chance for all the notifications to go out and all that. Hope you all had a good Saturday. I just got back from dinner at my mom's house. Sorry, we need this. All right, I'll flip it around. Hey, good evening. I'm gonna mute the music. I thought I was gonna mute it. Okay, now it's definitely muted. Hey, good evening. Is this Tiana? How's everybody doing? The hair is going a little crazy tonight. It's been very rainy and it makes my hair frizzy. Well, forget it. That part's just gonna stick out. Um, how's it going? Good evening, ladies and maybe gentlemen. Um, if you feel like saying hi and putting your first name in a comment, that would be great. All right, Tania. I remember you. Awesome. Thanks for stopping by. Um, for those who are joining or watching the replay, I'm Bex. Thanks for the hearts. Um, and I am a teacher blogger. My blog is Reading and Writing Redhead. And um, I also teach second grade. Um, and I have a tip for you tonight about organizing your email with a scheduler. And if you feel like it's something you're uh, Periscope followers could use um, or later on in the broadcast after hearing a little bit more feel free to share it out so that they know about it um, and I will get right into it so I'm gonna probably spend most of this showing you on my computer but this I maybe should have put in the description is really mostly what I know for Gmail because that's my email provider do you ladies use Gmail as well um, I use it for personal reasons. I have a separate account for blogging. Actually, my school email is also now run through Gmail. Okay, cool. All right. So what I have found, I found out that there's a few companies that have add-ons for Gmail. Gmail apparently has tons of email, uh, tons of add-ons. Sorry, I'm a little tired tonight. Um, I use one called Boomerang, so that's why you're staring at this bit.ly uh, slash Bex Boomerang before. So um, Google it, look it up, but I'm going to show you how it works. So let me flip this around, but it's been awesome. I use it at school, and I'll give you some tips on how to use it with school. I use it with blogging. I'm also a Jamboree consultant. I use it a ton with Jamboree. Not so much for my personal email. All right, I'm going to flip it around. Okay, so um, I mostly use this for Jamboree, but I'm just gonna show you, this is my teacher blogger, Gmail. So um, once you get Boomerang, you get a little icon in your mail here. And whoops, I am sorry, I'm not that coordinated. I'm gonna try to um, hold the camera so you can see and talk at the same time and do the mouse, which will be interesting. Okay, so I can make this bigger, right? Yes, I can, woohoo! All right, let me give this a second to adjust because it's so bright. All right, there, now you can see it. Um, so what I do is I type up my email. So let's say I want to email myself, which is kind of funny, but we'll call this test. And then once you connected Boomerang, and Boomerang does all the work for you, once you sign on, you, it just hooks right up to Gmail. It's super easy. Let's say I want to send this email like tomorrow because that's something important, but it's like midnight and I know this person's asleep. So I click send later. And then they give you all these options. So you can send it in an hour and all those tomorrow morning, tomorrow afternoon. I've never done those because I'm like, what is tomorrow morning? What time is that? And then they give you some days in a week, two weeks in a month, but I most often just use this, which is entering an exact specific day and time. Let me get a little closer. Can you all see that? So if I'm like, oh, 8 a.m., that seems like a good time. Great, so I'll hit confirm. Um, I can also hit send later. All right, both of those will bring up the scheduling the message window. Takes a few seconds and I usually get like, 
a message here, successful, all right? Now, let's say, oh, thank you for inviting people, I appreciate it. I hope the tip is helpful. Now let's say you're like, oh no, wait, I forgot to include something in my email. All right, but I've already scheduled it, don't panic. All right, you can go to boom, your Boomerang Outback, Outbox, I almost said Outback. Well, Boomerangs are Australian, right, ladies? So you can go to your Outbox. These are the emails you've scheduled, but they haven't gone out yet. So you can open it up, you can edit it, all right, you can reschedule it. Don't send, or if you change your mind, you're like, ooh, I can send it right now. You get that option. So I love that about Boomerang. So then there's, um, I don't know every single little detail about how it works, um, but also they put like this bookmark up here in my Chrome browser, and I'm not sure why, so I'll look into that. I'll scope, out, scope about it again later. All right, but let me just do one more example with you, make it bigger so you can actually see. So again, this is Boomerang. If you're just joining us, this is an email scheduler. We'll just call this test two, because I'm so creative. And another uh, part of Boomerang is if like you don't get a, oh, you can't see that, it's so bright again, I'm sorry. That's still super bright. Hey, good evening, Rachel, nice to see you. There we go, my lighting and camera finally adjusted. So I'm talking about Boomerang, which is an email scheduler. So it allows you to write a Gmail email, it hooks up to Google Mail, Gmail, and you can schedule it in advance. So you also can select this if no one replies to your email, you can check this box and if and it'll send out the same exact email again and you can change can you ladies see that you can change again same thing what day and time you want to send this so just for fun i'll hit tomorrow morning and again i don't know exactly when that is gals because i most often use the let's see i most often use this Great. So I most often just select the exact time and date that I want. I find that most helpful. All right. Um, so then send later and confirm. Whoops, wait. Your send later message must be scheduled earlier than your boomerang reminder. Oh, cool. All right. Sorry, girls. Trying to do too many things at once, holding the phone and like talking and typing. It's like teaching plus holding a video, video camera. All right, so this is, um, again, I got the confirmation there. And once more, just to remind you, you can find these, if they haven't gone out yet, in your Boomerang Outbox folder, which is automatically created for you. So if you change your mind, if you wanna cancel, delete, edit, you can. All right, so I'm gonna turn this back around. Hi, it's me again. All right, so that's Boomerang. So I just want to tell you a couple ways that I use it. For my school email, as a teacher, the main way I use it. Um, good question. All I did when I got started was I Googled it. So actually, you can just go to Nia to bit.ly slash Bex Boomerang. And to be honest, that's an affiliate link. And I might win a prize or something. I guess they have these little prizes they give away if someone joins Boomerang. So I always like to do that. But all I did the first when I heard about it was Google it. Um, but as a teacher, like we have a field trip coming up. So I send an email about the field trip. Then right after I send that, I usually schedule an email to remind parents about the permission slip. And then I send like and schedule a third email, like the day the permission slips are due, saying, you know, did you forget your kid's permission slip? Please send it in tomorrow. They're due today, but I'll take them tomorrow. So I like to do them as like recurring reminders for parents um, for our spirit days. What I went and I did was I set up boomerang emails for each spirit day, which is monthly and like the day before. You know, I click the exact schedule button, so for about 24 hours before, 
I reminded parents in the email what the spirit day was. So there is a limit though. Um, I think they give you 20 scheduled emails a month for free. So that works fine for my teacher account, my teacher blogger account. I don't really use it too often, but for Jamberry, um, since I'm a Jamberry consultant, I use it a ton. So I'm not going to go into details because I don't think a lot of you ladies are Jamberry consultants watching, but it's great for customer follow-up. So I did pay for a paid account. And I think it was like 20 bucks or something. And I think it was just a year or maybe 30 bucks a year. I thought it was affordable, but that's just for my Jamberry Gmail. So I did link up Jamberry this one, my blogger email and my teacher email all through Boomerang, but I just use the free versions for everything but Jamberry. So again, it's Boomerang, and I do know there are other email schedulers out there for Gmail, um, but I only really know details about Boomerang. So if I find out about any more or decide to try any others, I'll uh, blo uh, blog, sorry, I maybe I'll blog about them. I need to get on that blogging thing more, but I will periscope about them. But I hope that helps, um, and it's great for if you know things are coming up and you know you have to send emails, just sit down, schedule a few out to those parents, and then you don't have to worry about it later. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you have a great rest of your night, and I hope you're doing something fun tomorrow and that it's not snowing tomorrow because here in New England, it's supposed to snow. It was 70-something degrees yesterday, but tomorrow it's going to snow, right? Crazy. All right, have a good night. Bye, ladies. Thanks. Good night, Tania.